The next bond issue should contain substantial sums for stormwater drainage and for sewers, otherwise big buildings, fine auditoriums, stadiums, parks, schools are useless unless you have sewers. The first need of a civilized community is sewers and water. Without it, there is no other growth possible. Yes, sir. Mr. Mixon, how do you see I think one of his greatest accomplishments as mayor was the uh, new airport building and the expanding of the airport. That was his major love, in my opinion. In my opinion, he was a very aggressive individual who loved the city of Atlanta, and it was an obsession with him. Everything for the city of Atlanta had to go forward, and he was one who pushed it, not only aviation, but the city as a whole and his relations with the public. He demanded that his department heads do everything they could to further the city. Many people uh, felt they didn't like him due to the fact that uh, his mind sometimes would be engrossed and he'd walk down the street and maybe pass a half a dozen of his friends and never see a one of them. And he actually didn't see them. I've known it happened to me with him. He was so engrossed in thinking about something else that he just wouldn't see him, and some people would get mad at him. Uh, many times, of course, when people would come into his office to talk, uh, he'd take the conversation away from them. That was one of his uh, characteristics which uh, some people didn't like. I knew it, so it never bothered me, and we'd sit down and talk. But uh, he was a 24-hour-a-day mayor, day and night. He would ride the police cars night after night. He'd ride himself in a car. He had a Ford with the police radio in it. And many nights he'd come to my house at 1 o'clock, 12.30, 1.30, and we'd sit and talk a couple hours about things pertaining to the city. He knew his government as well as any man knows government. And I guess he was considered a, a mayor's mayor by his peers. Atlanta will, will miss William B. Hartsfield forever. You do not replace a William B. Hartsfield. Few cities, in fact, will ever know one. Well, now that is abysmal ignorance. What Hal doesn't know is that we are in the process, the city is, of investigating sites all around Atlanta now. Also, when he talks of the state barging in and taking over, he is destroying 45 years of progress which has resulted in us being the second airport in the nation and the fourth in the world. But Atlanta is not procrastinating. How long, how long can the city wait without a decision on an airport? It should wait until it makes the right decisions. I would say in wrapping up mostly that uh, uh, Hartsfield was his love for Atlanta was greater than anything else I believe that uh, he ever had or did.